and Judd is always implementing the best technology to keep this county safe. In fact, I am thinking of moving to Polk County because of the great men and women he has working on his team. That is a fake video of Elon Musk right there, and it's concerning for Polk County Sheriff's Office because it exposes the dangers of AI. Sheriff Grady Judd says he's working to get ahead of criminals who are using artificial intelligence to commit crimes. News Channel 8 reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live from the Sheriff's Office, and uh, he says he's got some new techniques to fight this kind of crime, right, Marilyn? That's right, because look, the sheriff says that AI is improving by the minute, and he knows criminals are going to try and take advantage of that. So their goal is to come up with a new investigative and holistic unit to try and tackle these threats head on. I wasn't surprised, though, knowing that Sheriff Grady Judd is always implementing the best technology to keep his county safe. Before you ask to hear that again, you should know it's not real. This is fake in a real world and we're frightened to death of the negatives of AI. It's these misleading videos and crimes generated with AI that encourage the Polk County Sheriff's Office to team up with the Florida Polytechnic University to create SAIL, the Sheriff's Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. They will identify AI trends and tactics to find bad actors. There's been criticism of AI use in law enforcement, specifically predictive policing. Nothing could be more important than to make sure of the accuracy and the fairness and the fact that it is not uh, capable of a bias. So the reality of it is that's why you have to have the human element. The unit will have FPU students, technicians, and detectives. When asked about the cost, the sheriff says it's not expensive for today's world. And even if it were, what's your life worth? What's finding Ethan Fussell worth. And the sheriff mentioned that Ethan Fussell case. Well, he says using AI, they can take the case as a whole and then look for whatever missing thing that their deputies could be overlooking. And so while there are a lot of dangers with AI, the sheriff says that there's also some positives as well. Back to you. So, Marilyn, I'm curious, how could the evidence from this unit that Grady Judd's talking about actually be used in court? So, for example, let's use this.